Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be getting into an extreme clean with me. We are going to be tackling so much laundry in today's video. <laughs> I am amazed at how much laundry this house truly produces, but you're definitely gonna get the laundry motivation today. <laughs> I am really gonna be um, focusing on the bedroom. Um, I'm gonna be folding, like I said, a lot of laundry, doing a lot of laundry switches. Um, Josh is going to be shaving the dogs this weekend. We definitely need to go ahead and give them a good bath after that too. And we're just gonna be tackling all of the chores that we really need to get into before school starts and get into a better routine. So come along with me today and let's tackle all of these chores together. really struggling trying to get the dust off of this lampshade and I had remembered that I did have a lint roller up in the cabinet so I gave it a shot and honestly it worked great so if you've never used a lint roller to clean your lampshades I highly recommend So here I'm just going through literally all of my makeup that's on top of my makeup table here and I'm just realizing that I don't wear majority of this every single day. There'll be times where I get dressed up or I want to wear something a little bit more bold. So I am going to hang on to these lipsticks, uh, lip liners, all of the above, but I just want to kind of minimize minimize <laughs> everything that's on top of this dresser just because it looks so cluttered and it just it gets messy really quickly. I'm trying to stay on top of this and not make this a dumping ground as soon as I walk in my bedroom. So I'm really trying to set myself up for success and put things away instead of just putting them down and being conscious about the decisions that I'm making with what I'm keeping, even though it kind of looks like I'm keeping everything and you wouldn't be wrong, but it's a process. I have to have it out of my collection for a while before I can actually let it go, if that makes sense. I know it probably doesn't, but it's, it's my process. I can tell it's 
just for show Every line designed to let me know I really should be giving all of these makeup brushes a good bath, but um, just did not have time this weekend. Uh, it is on the honeydew list though. A video that I'm going to be coming out with here in the next month or so, I have a laundry list of things that I just, I need to get done. So I made myself a honeydew list. <laughs> um, to be included will be cleaning off the fans, cleaning off the baseboards, the wainscoting, cleaning my makeup brushes. Oh, oh my goodness, so many things. What are some things that are on your list that you just never have time to get to that you have to absolutely make time to do? I would be so interested to find out what things are just always on your list or at least are outstanding on your list that are just kind of nagging at you to get them done. Leave a comment down below. So apparently I'm feeling chatty today in today's video, but I just wanted to point out that this is the old um, 
I guess, dress hanger thing that was in Lila's room, I decided to repurpose it in my bedroom because I have yet to find a good solution for all of the hangers on my floor. I do not have enough closet space. This closet is a child size closet. Um, and as an adult, I cannot fathom having this closet for much longer. It's driving me bananas. But I also don't like having hangers without clothes on them just kind of lingering because it just takes up unnecessary space. Um, so typically whenever I take clothes out of my closet, I throw the hanger on the floor. Um, just like that. <laughs> but it's just not working and we are definitely happy to have this little hanger hanger in the closet to keep the hangers off the floor. And it has been working very well. So I know I'm definitely not the only one and I totally get this from my grandfather, but one of my favorite things to do at the end of the night is to sit down with a book and snack on some Sour Patch Kids before I fall asleep. It's not healthy for my teeth. I totally get that, but I'll eat my melatonin gummy there. I'll have two or three Sour Patch Kids. I'll read a book until I fall asleep. It's just my nighttime routine and we're going to leave it at that. Sour Patch Kids are delicious. So I have a couple of baskets of laundry here. They are clean. They have been clean for um, at least a couple of days. <laughs> um, but I definitely need to get them sorted. Uh, but my ADD brain was working overtime and I was thinking, nope, I need to get the laundry in or the sheets in the laundry first and then I'll sort the laundry. It's just the way my brain works. Just hold, please. <laughs> And we're back with more Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Clean sheets, more Sour Patch Kids. It's the uh, couple hours later now after all of the sheets have been washed and cleaned and dried. Um, as you can see there, I'm folding the sheets that I took off the bed and washed earlier. So it's it's a mess. My life is a mess. My brain is a mess. I We're, we're doing the best we can. <laughs> Anyways. Back to this pile of laundry that I had started. Um, I'm going to start folding it, start sorting it, start getting through this basket here. Um, but like I said, it is the end of the night and um, Josh is going to come in ready for bed here soon. And of course I'm on the bed that he sleeps in. So uh, we are going to postpone the rest of this folding for the next day. 
Also, by the way, I am watching Friends while I fold laundry. Um, so that's why I'm just kind of randomly smiling and giggling at my computer there. Uh, also, question, who actually knows how to fold a fitted sheet? Because I feel like I just match up whatever corners I can find and fold into thirds and make it look somewhat like it's folded neatly. Leave a comment down below if you know how to fold a fitted sheet properly because I don't know if any of us really do. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I zoom in on you? I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> I want to zoom in. Can I zoom in? Why? Because I got to show your beauty. You better zoom it back out. Nope. That's good right there. How far did you zoom in? Is enough to see your pimples on your nose? Ah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> did you zoom it back out? No, I'm going to leave it right there. We can see you better. Laundry motivation. Well, we this can is see not your, very motivating. We can see your laundry and we can see you. I gotta plug it in anyway gravity. so I can just reset it. Meet your mama. No. Fold it laundry. On your bed. On your bed. Go girl. My baby. Go girl. That's what you can do this weekend. Haircut. Uh, no, I plan on I gotta go to PetSmart tomorrow and buy new shears. Oh, you're gonna get like actual pet shears? Yeah. Instead of the wall. <laughs> Well, they're really not much different. Oops, suck. You didn't zoom in at all. I did too. I like zoomed in a point lot. Five. I zoomed in a lot. I kept you in the frame. If only I had listened for a while. So we are on day two now. As you could see, Josh came in at bedtime and he's like, all right, let's wrap it up. <laughs> so I put all the clothes back in the basket. Now I'm taking them back out of the basket and we're going to continue to fold more laundry. Like dishes, laundry is one of the things that just never ends.
might be going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Can't stop looking at ya, you. you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now Oh, I think I lost my way but got you to help me back Tell me what I should do now Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark You're glowing in the dark Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah you're glowing in the dark You're growing in the to take a break from my mountains and mountains and mountains of laundry to go check on my Gabby baby. Both her and Meadow got haircuts this weekend. They are Springer Spaniels so typically their breed has a longer cut but we do live in Florida and they are constantly in the pool so it's just so much easier if we shave them down pretty pretty short. It makes them more comfortable. It makes it easier on us to be able to dry them off and it's definitely more sanitary with them. Um, especially considering that they're constantly in the pool. But as you can see, she was quite enjoying the process. So I am out here with that basket of laundry that had any of the clothes that were a little wrinkled. I'm gonna throw them back in the dryer with some of the stuff that was coming out of this washer. And I'm going to start yet another load. <laughs> Again, it's literally the never ending cycle over here. Ha, <laughs> get it, cycle. <laughs> To help with my whole hanger debacle and my need for more space in the closet, I am going to sift through all the clothes that are in my closet here, go ahead and get rid of anything that I'm really not going to wear, and anything that just no longer fits. See clear through the smoke you created I feel my feet on the ground and they're shaking How am I supposed to say
continues i am in lila's room right now getting all of her stuff folded and put away for her while she's at her dad's house last night we had something tonight i'll be kissing but i don't really have a case You're just like their attention It's written all over your face I don't wanna play the quiet time When I'm near you Reading old messages on my phone Every time I see you
Okay, sorry YouTube for this angle, but I originally filmed this part of the video for TikTok. So if you want to see it in a better, I don't know, format, head <laughs> on over to my TikTok. Um, so I am going to, well, if you can see me, I'm going to be trying the spa water that um, I saw another girl do here on TikTok. I'm probably going to do at this video. So um, she used fresh, pine, uh, fresh watermelon. I'm going to use frozen. So more than half cup, that's probably a full cup, but um, I'm going to put in half of a baby cucumber. She used an English cucumber, they're about the same. And then mixed in here, I also have probably one teaspoon of ginger. Um, she used two, but I wanna make it less gingery off the bat just in case. <laughs> and then I'm gonna fill this up with water. All right. Sorry, had to go find ice. Okay, so that's all nice and blended. Um, the other girl used pineapple and mango. So I'm, I have mango, I'm gonna use mango. Piece of that, put that in there. I'm probably gonna make a mess. She used half of a lime, so I'm gonna use just a few wedges. All right, let's see. Definitely too much ice, I can't even stir it. Um, I'm getting the most um, cucumber and ginger, not so much watermelon. I like it though, it's really refreshing. Get in. Good girl. There's a good Gabby. There's a good Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Oh, cheese. Good girl. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Good girl. So after our little spa water break, it was time to give these girls a bath after they got their little haircuts. And with having no fur, it was like just rubbing their skin with soap. <laughs> so, I mean, they definitely had fur on them, but you, you know what I mean. So it was a really quick, easy, simple bath, um, except for the fact that I had a hard time getting their underbellies rinsed and washed. So it was just a quick rinse off so you smell better and not so you're thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned. But... Our dogs really aren't dirty, dirty, because like I said, they stay in the swimming pool. But just wanted to get the stinky off of them and get all of the little fuzzies off of them from getting shaved today. Come on, get in here. Go, girl. Yes, yes, get in. Come on, right here. Right here. You're okay. Come on. Come on, right here. Right here. Oh, you scared the cat. Come here. You come here. You're okay. Good girl. Oh, big girl. Big mouth. Oh, good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yes. Look up, baby. Oh, yes, she is. She may be. And yes, I do talk to my dogs like they're my babies because they are my babies. And if that annoys you, I'm sorry, but it's not going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> and by the way, yes, this is two different dogs. The first one was Gabby. The second one is Meadow. At this point in time, really, the only way that we can tell the difference is when they wear their collars. But not really because Meadow has more freckles on her nose and a little bit more white on her back. But to anybody else, you probably couldn't even tell the difference. You're the opposite of me. Like sun and rain And drama on the TV Is full of pain But we're the good part The happy ending Unexpected plot twist We always say me We're the good part We never fake it Even if it hurts We always say
so after bathing both dogs, this bathroom definitely needed to be cleaned. I mean, let's be honest, it needed to be cleaned before that, but I definitely was not gonna clean it and then bathe the dogs. So we are going to be tackling this bathroom now. Somehow we make sense. We're the only one who knows it. Our feelings never tense. We don't need no water under the bridge. We're the good part, the happy ending. Unexpected plot twist, we always say We're the good part, we never fake it. Even if it hurts, we always say it. So I have a really bad habit of emptying out a shampoo bottle or a body wash bottle and then just kind of leaving it into the shower until I come in here and clean again. So about half of these needed to get thrown away. Um, but it is nice to be able to get this whole thing wiped down and get all the soap scum off. And I really did a number on this bathroom. Like we went in, we went ham. We also actually wound up replacing that drain right there. The little flipper thingy that helps it drain has not been working. Um, so we ripped that out, replaced it, so the duct tape is gone. <laughs> Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah Trip, 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 oh Flick the switch, kill the lights Oh, wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight
something meaningful Say something I don't know I wanna know you better The way that you talk to me The way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know mm. Till my lungs give out your beauty Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I hope that you got all of the motivation out of this video. It definitely took me an entire weekend to film, but that's okay. We definitely got a ton of things checked off of the list. I'm not sure where you guys are at in what countries, but we are about to go back to school for the school year and just getting the house reset and in functioning order again makes all of the difference. So I can safely say that I it has released such a stress off of my brain just knowing that these rooms are nice and clean. Um, by all means, we did not reach the rest of the house, but these were some of the bigger tasks that needed to be tackled. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you'd like to hit that subscribe button, I have tons of cleaning content, back to school content, planning content on the way, and stay tuned, hit the notification bell to be notified when I post, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.